Hello, welcome. In this video, we take a look at the new uh, add-ons for Blender by Stability AI. So heading over to their website, you can see this uh, integration here, Blender, uh, installing, getting started, and they have the render to image and then generating textures and uh, animation. So uh, to install this, uh, first of all, um, head over to uh, GitHub here, if you have uh, already installed Blender, and then head over to GitHub and uh, you click on the link provided in the Stability AI website and you're landing on the GitHub for um, stability here and you can see this is the uh, blender uh, add-ons here i simply click this one it is the pub pass public uh, release here so simply click on this stability blender add-ons here and then uh, once you finish uh, installing this uh, uh, launch your blender to install the add-ons so in the blender 3d report here come to the edit menu Go to the preferences and then make sure to be on add-ons and then click on install to install the stability AI add-ons for Blender. And once you're in it, you can go to the download page and uh, click on your uh, stability Blender add-ons and then click install add-ons here. And once you have that, uh, make sure to have the checkbox here, check or enable it. And then uh, click on this to expand the properties here. And then you can see the API key here. Now to get your API key, Make sure to log in into your account and then uh, click on get your API key here. So click on here and it's going to open up the Dream uh, Studio uh, AI, which is where the stability AI. And then in the Stream Studio, you have already an account. It will open up the uh, your account and here you have everything. Uh, the API key here created to make sure uh, you create a new API key if you haven't, uh, there's a new brand new uh, account, but if not, simply copy the API key from here and then head back to Blender and then in the API key, uh, control V to uh, copy the API key. That's all you need to do and coming down here to this three little ellipse here, make sure to see that if it's auto save, if not, then click save preferences. Uh, that's all and uh, let's close this window. Now let's also close this uh, default cube here, hit N to bring out this panel here and you can see this uh, tool uh, panel here has the stability view and tool. So here's your stability. So um, simply select this and let's just expand this a little bit. So here you have, so you have the uh, account loginess and then the balance sort out here and then the prompt here. Now this is the uh, default prompt. You can change this by simply selecting that. And if you don't have that, you can see that you have the add-ons uh, at the prompt here. So you're adding a new prompt and you can delete the one. And you can also add the presets here in the uh, stability AI add-ons. Okay, so uh, you have that now. Um, you can type in your prompt and start uh, generating the image. Now from the initial type here, uh, let's uh, copy the prompt pass. Let's type in a prompt here. So I'm going to copy one of my prompt. So let's copy the prompt in here. Control V to copy that. And then uh, that's all you need to do. And here, initial type, if it is texture, make sure to change to text prompt only if you are trying to generate only the prompt that you just type in. And then uh, in the height and the width, you can change this. And I just want to go up to 768. And that's all we need to do from here. And then let's click on Dream. So here our image is generated now. And uh, it's bring this nice uh, painted um, artist kind of cat here. So uh, to save your image, if you expand this, you can come down here, click and save the image. Or you can um, simply come from here and save that. And note also that uh, all the image generated here from uh, the um, stability add-ons will appear in the UV editing here. So in the UV editing, and you can see this little um, browse image link here, all the generated images will appear here. Okay, heading back to the um, panel here, let's just bring that stability air back again. So the next example, we're going to render a project, and then after the rendering the project, uh, we're going to use that render to image uh, and by typing in some prompt here. So let's do that. So here I have a project that I created using geometry nodes. So let's render this first. So let's go to render here and then the render the image from here. 
So we're going to use the image that we just generated to create another new image. So in the prompt here, we just type in computer network. Uh, let's type in DNA. And that's all I need to do from here. In the initial option, uh, initial type, let's put it to texture. And then make sure to have the render result appear here. If not, then you can just uh, select the render. So make sure to confirm that by coming over to the uh, UV editing here. And then in the image, uh, you can check the image that you generated from the render result from here. So this is the image that we generated from the um, original project. We bring in our stability AI and let's start our prompt computer network DNA helix. And then in the initial setup, make sure to change that to texture and then make sure to have the render result and uh, use render resolution. So now let's trim that. So here is our rendered image, uh, trying to mix all this together to create this uh, kind of DNA helix, uh, something like that. Uh, you can see in this uh, panel image that we rendered from the uh, stable diffusion. So with text to image, render to image, and the panel one, as you can see, for the next example is uh, creating animation, but I don't have enough credits now, so I will do that in the next video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.